never did it. <laughs> Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. We are happy to announce uh, we have a giveaway on next week's show. Uh, we will be giving away a Skull & Shackles uh, Pathfinder Battles booster um, via Gleemo. Um, if you're not familiar with Gleemo, it is a... Uh, basically a website that helps people do uh, giveaways and competitions and stuff like that. For all the ways to enter, check out the latest tweet on um, our show Twitter page, MBM RPG, or our Facebook page, uh, Mistakes Being Made RPG, for details. Also, um, our prior sessions are being stored on Twitch for 14 days, uh, which has come due for several sessions. Um, if you're new to the show and looking to catch up on all of our antics and episodes, uh, you can find them on our Black YouTube page and all of our contact information on our Twitter account, uh, MBM RPG. Additionally, we'd like to thank the following groups and people for their assistance in helping our make, uh, helping to make our show better. Uh, thanks to Action Shield for their amazing combat risers. Thanks to Dwarven Forge for their awesome dungeon terrain. And thanks to Sirenscape for their awesome soundscapes. Uh, lastly, we've had people ask in the past about uh, the PCs. So let's go to our players and have them introduce who they're playing tonight. Mike? Who are you playing tonight? I am playing Cirque, half orc barbarian. Uh, currently, the oh, also known as Shipwreck. Who is currently um, the helmsman on the ship? Because that's a good idea. <laughs> it's not a good idea. It's time. He can tie knots. Um, Doug, I'm playing Xenos High Hill. He is the acting captain of the Tempest Temptress, who made the mistake of making Cirque the helmsman. Wish he'd act like a Adam. Give him some mistake. Uh, I'm Adam. I'm playing Corvin, the drunken warlock who is currently drunk. No, not drunk. No, he's not Thank currently you. drunk. He's sober. Uh, on ships. Currently trying to wrangle the crew towards Xenos' favor. Frank. I'm Frank. I'm playing Rin, the furbolg druid, who's not a fan of people. Survival of the fittest. <laughs> and Howard. I am Sarsarel, the submerged chosen champion of Umberly and. Keeper of many a secret. And if you've watched, uh, I believe, Saturday's episode on Twitch or Sunday's episode on YouTube, you'll know that Aaron, who plays Vaziago, the tiefling bard, is off on his own adventure with Craig of, of Clan Rumbletide, and Clan it is Crunk. going awesome. Clan Crunk. It is going the fantastically. Crunk uh, so let's go ahead and recap where we are from the last episode. Uh, so last episode, uh, Sarsarel got a shiny new set of mithril armor. I did. It's so nice. It's worth waiting for, everybody. <laughs> no. uh, that was one of the secrets he had. He wasn't going to show up on time. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the party yeah. shared their experiences under the mountain, including um, talking with Sea Sage Lawn Jogger about uh, the Ember Flame and, and kind of sharing their uh, fights with the goblins and with the dragon, Night Scale. Uh, sea Sage Lawn Jogger, Craig, and uh, Vaziago journeyed to Emmerich's Hold for multiple reasons, and Xenos took command of the Tempest Temptress for the first time. And it's going fantastic, you guys. Swimmingly. It's going so well. Swimmingly is a good word for it. Because after uh, a drinking session that put half the crew unconscious... Um, Not my fault. Someone... Shouted from above deck, "Hey, we're being raided!" And now is as good a time as any to establish who was at the drinking contest. Uh, Heave is called the, is the drink, drinking contest name. So now, Adam, I know that that Corvin was there. I know that Ren was there because yes. Ren was taking part, and you were uh, getting uh, Remington as drunk as possible yep. through failed con saving. Yes. Yep. Mike was Cirque. Below no, deck? I was still helming the ship. You were not helming the ship because you had had eight hours of oh, helming the ship. Oh, then I would have been down at the bar. Okay. Or down at the... Uh, <laughs> so the you bar. were... You were they have heat. a bar in the bottom. It's not an aircraft they carrier. Do. Uh, what was Sarsarel <laughs> doing? Uh, I, if I was not resting, would have been on the deck. Okay, so you'd be on the deck. Kay. Okay. So you might have been the one that shouted, hey. There. Hey, you guys. Now, I, I already talked to Doug about where Xenos was, and Xenos has three... Locations. He's either near the helm. Mm -hmm. He is in the captain's quarters, crying. 
Uh, no, no, or copying he, down spells. Or he's the smoozing public. with the crew. Uh, now, Doug, I am yeah. happy to have you roll a 1d6, and um, you can choose one and two is at the helm, two and three is uh, in the cap, or three and four is at the uh, captain's quarters, and uh, five and six is smoozing. Wait, what is okay. he choosing? I'm not choosing anything. You apparently. said you can choose. I, I rolled a two, so <laughs> oh, the dice. You spoke. <laughs> you might have seen a bird. Yeah. Yeah. Through, through the dice, I have chosen to be at the helm. Oh, okay, nice. you're at the helm. Okay, great. Um, Is your octopus near the helm? Um, He's on the little crate. Yeah, I'm on the crate. He has to be on the crate That's so that so can, can see over the rail. Yeah, it's important. Every His, time they slide uh, that around. Pocket. Nah, in my pocket. They're like, pocket the crate dragon. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. here's <laughs> what Xenos and Sarsarel see. Dimension. So, oh, um, you see dimension. a number of uh, sea devils. <laughs> How do you say it? Sahuligans? Sahuligans. <laughs> sea devils have climbed up oh, over darts. <laughs> the rails of the ship. And they come on like um, this. Yeah, and... <laughs> Um, and they begin attacking the crew. Um, and the first thing they do is start throwing crew members overboard. Um, I'm going to no! speak to them in Aquin and tell them that they are making a huge mistake. They're making a huge mistake. So let's go ahead and roll for initiative. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hear me when I talk to you. Doug, what'd you get? Uh, got a total of ten. I did really good. Ten. And Howard? Six. Six. Okay. So, Xenos really and Sarsarel <laughs> are not surprised by the attack. We'll get to you guys in a oh, second. Really? Excellent. Um, let me roll of that, I thought we'd be surprised. Well, no. You you know that they've come over, overboard. You guys are going to be the ones that sound the alarm. But for everybody right. else... Oh. I can do that on one. Okay, so. <laughs> but you can also only count. So to that. apparently Xenos was the one that sounded the alarm. Okay. Uh, Frank, what did Renny get? 21. 21. Okay. Uh, Mike, what did Sir get? Four. Four! <laughs> did you hear me, guys? Uh, Adam. Natural 23. Natural 23. Okay, so Corbin, you are surprised downstairs. Um, you have this fairly well, surprised it's condition. Still going. Um, and then Cirque's going last. Yep. And Ren is going. Well, actually, Ren is probably going last because uh, you guys are not aware of combat happening until Doug sounds the alarm. Where's Doug at in the order? Right here. Huh? <laughs> well, I'm going to randomly decide to go to the top side. Well, you're still in the drinking contest. The you're, drink con fresh air. you're winning the drinking contest currently until someone sounds the alarm. Okay. So, you Doug, randomly it roll. is Xenos' turn. What would Xenos like to do? Well, like, um, well I um, sound the alarm. Oh, okay. And I tell the crew to fight off the, the borders. And then I look at this one <laughs> right here. Like and I tell him to get off my ship. And he needs to make a uh, will save. He needs to make a will save. A wisdom save, I'm a sorry. A wisdom saving throw, and the DC is... Is 12. 12. And he got a 13. Oh, so he it. says no. So he is not or, He is not afraid of me. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. So he no, he does not fail. Um, so that is your turn. You cast that a spell. Was, I cast Would spell. you like to move? Um... No, I'm on my box. I'm I'm being the upstanding captain. Oh shoot, I forgot. There are two crew members that are with you, and I will have them go on DM two. There are several crew members, but yeah, but the, there's one the, between me and the guy. The that's important up there, ones so, yeah. are are going to go fairly late in the game. Who who is it that's manning the helm at the Grim moment? Grim Bernadette is manning oh the helm, and there is one of the Kenku um, that is. In the crow's nest, where Ken Koo belong. Yeah, um, that's, <laughs> that's my buddy Birdman. A place for Ken Koo is what Birdman. what it's called. Um, Harvey Birdman, attorney law. Yeah. So um, the the, uh, the Sea Devils, the Sahuagin, um, they begin sea. to attack the crew, 
And then the one that you tried to get to go overboard, he is going to go ahead and attack Grim Bernadette. Um, and he is going to roll a 9, which is not going to hit her, and a 18, which is going to hit her. And he will deal. Doug, you notice that um, the one that you ordered overboard yeah. has um, four arms rather than two. So he um, makes two quick attacks um, against Grim Bernadette and seems to strike a pretty decent blow with one of them. Hmm. And she takes some damage. So that is... Okay. So next up in the order is Grim Bernadette. Um, she's going to rage because that's what she does. And make her attacks. And she's going to hit him back. <clears throat> At this point, she's no longer holding the wheel. Yeah, that's probably. By the way. <laughs> um, she rages and tears the wheel right off. <laughs> no! No, no, don't break my ship! She has a great axe that I she's attacking with. <laughs> and she does a decent back. portion of his hit points. Um, in a, she hits him grievously in the hip, and it seems like one of his legs is barely hanging on. I hate it when that happens. Uh, Nevermore, That's barbaric. who is in the crow's nest, he is going to um, start climbing down. He's going to climb down 30 feet, and then he's going to cast a spell, and he's going to be adjacent to Doug now. He's going to misty step, not there, <laughs> per se, because he's a sorcerer. Yeah, there. Oh, okay. So he's going to be there. Um, Stop. <laughs> I'm turning down the pirate music. The pirate music is very jaunty. So good. All right. So that is those two. Sarsarel, it is your turn. Excellent. What would you like to do? Thunder wave? Uh, thunder wave some pirates off the ship? I don't want to thunder wave any pirates off the ship. So there is one pirate in the water currently. Oh, good. Um, and you do hear thrashing in the water and oh, no. the screams of a pirate. Who's there was a pirate oh, in the water. No. Right. He is currently still alive. Oh my gosh. It's just being mean. And I, we did end up like, needing all What's three What's the DMs weather like? Uh, it is stormy. Okay. Not like the president stormy, like actual stormy. Oh jeez. Uh, I heard something hilarious today. So um, somebody posted because Stormy did a an interview on like sixty minutes, and somebody said about her that no one works as hard as the top two buttons were working on the sixty minutes interview. <laughs> what you got, man? Do your thing. I'm thinking about casting Thaumaturgy so that I can like be heard over the noise. Okay. By all of these features. So I think that's what I'll do. Okay. And I'm going to use it to uh, enhance my voice to the point where I can be heard from like 400 feet away. Uh, and I shout at them in Aquin okay. that they are attacking the vessel of the Chosen of Umberly and they need to cease before oh, shit. consequences become. Like you were supposed to remind me. Severe. It was already on. Why did you turn it? And I could maybe make a persuasion check with that? Sure. I don't know. All right. Go for it. I'm hoping they speak Aquan. I assume they do. Who knows? They do. So that's only a 14. A 14 persuasion? Yeah. OK. All right. <clears throat> uh, and then I'll step up next to the, to the one that's closest to me as well. Shipwreck's turn? It is Shipwreck's turn. Um, I guess I'm going to start running upstairs, yelling, um, finally, I'm going to kill something today. And I'm going to make an intimidate check. <laughs> <laughs> that was well timed. That's an 18. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. OK, so you're intimidating now, somebody? I'm intimidating anybody that can hear me as I'm running up the stairs. All OK. The I cringe. Oh, OK. <laughs> what right. are you saying it in? Common? <laughs> sure. Let's see. Um, let me see what language. <laughs> Let me see what languages they speak. Let me delve into my repertoire. Mm -hmm. okay. Bye, pop tarts. Nope. All right. Um, okay. So the sharks go ahead and attack. 
Um, and you hear less screaming and more thrashing. Uh-oh. How long does it take me to get up? Like, just... just around. Okay. I'm not going in the water. Actually, so... With y- the sharks. You could get up to um, the... You could get up to deck with a move action. And oh, then okay. if you want to make an attack... Oh, yeah, there's plenty can... to uh, kill. Well, is there anything I could grab on my way up? Sure, there's tons of shit underneath. Yeah, I'll just grab something. Below deck. Okay, what yeah. do you grab? Uh, a block and tackle. If they okay, have. a block and tackle. And I'm going to use it and just whip it and try to hit that okay. one that's attacking Are you gonna the cards. Hmm? Yeah, I'm going to whip it real good. Well, well, so maybe. Problem, we'll see. There is a problem here, and it has come along. <laughs> so I guess you must whip it. So I whip it good. Whip it good. All right. <laughs> so 20 to hit? 20 hits. All right. Just fine. Um, this is like an improvised random thing you picked up. He has actually would have been oh, proficiency 26 with to, to hit. But yes. Um, nice. Impressive. Oh. oh. Max damage. Yeah. Uh, Eight? Eight damage? Yeah. Okay, Wait, you hit the guy. Six plus four is well, ten. Well, I'm not... Well, that was it's energy. throwing. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Because it's, it's... You hit him. Okay. He takes damage. Oh. So where's He's Mike on the? Not shit happy now? about it. He's oh, came up that way. Okay. He blends in with. Oh, the I'm, other I thought it was coming everything. up from that side. If I'm adjacent to him, yeah. Is it it's just the captain's do... quarters? Yeah. It you know be... the ship uh, dynamics is a little weird because. Let me check with an expert. Where's the ship? Where's the captain's quarters? Would well, the captain's the quarters are there. Oh, this was an aircraft carrier. <laughs> <laughs> That's the closest so, yes, thing we have. It's closest to the. It's always closest. to Okay, he'll take four more damage. I, I'm not robbing you of damage. There is just not the below deck. The only way to get to below deck is through that big grate. So it's not, that's not going to work. So anyway, um, it's make believe. <laughs> also, I can do that. Ren can turn into things magically. Um, Ren, it's your turn. Oh, wait, no. Miniatures for that. Corvin, it's your turn. <laughs> Corvin, it's your turn. I'll go. Okay. So you get above deck. There's, there are sea devils everywhere. It's a hooligans. And this one's damaged? Yep. Uh, you do see one with a, like, he's got a block and tackle wrapped <laughs> around him somehow. So and he's fighting to get loose of it. Let's have him make a wisdom saving throw. Um, you know, they're really good at that. Are they? Well, I mean, one fought off 14 Doug's is the command. Save. 14, nope. 11? So that's not going to work. It's not going to work. Uh, he takes four points of necrotic. Okay. See here, as I bring out my little bell. You ring a ting ting. I ring a ting ting, and his scales start to flake away. Uh, and then as a bonus action, I am going to hex this one. Okay. And, and I he's will, full hit points. Correct? And I will give him, yes, uh, disadvantage on wisdom saving. Throws. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Other caster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I saw that. Can you hear me have player's handbook? Yeah. Uh, Rin. So uh, I will go ahead and I will start. Now you are currently drunk. I don't know. I will go which ahead. Which we discussed before stream means you're poisoned. Exactly. I will go ahead and I will open with uh, protection from poison, which automatically cures me of my poison issues. Okay. So you um, cast a spell. And then I will come up to the top of the stairs, but I won't go out yet. Okay. Cool. You, you shift it. bonus, right? So you can shift for free. Yeah, I wanted to cast steel skin, but you're right. Yeah, I will, um... <laughs> Turn into a spider so he can't throw you off. <laughs> and you could use your web to save the guy that's an overboard, maybe. Oh, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> he's um, dead. He's off yeah, maybe on the first round. Yeah, actually... There's no way I could get really to him in time. Yeah, you could be, hit John. Yeah, give me the bear. Mm-mm. Then you'd be I fighting a shark. Dude. Yeah, you know, you'd be fighting two sharks. So, yeah. um... Yeah, why no. are the sharks in the army? No. I, um... So did up. you change into a bear? Yeah, I did. Because <laughs> oh. it's a bonus. They're oh not expecting gosh. a bear to come out of the This hole. is yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> so I, um, I cast a spell on me. I come running up. I come all the way out. And then once I get out, I go full on bear. Okay. All right. Now, when you change into a bear, mm-hmm. what does that look like? Is it like the howling? Or Ooh, no. is it more of Teen Wolf? Or... <laughs> Is it how about uh, mystical swirling energy is it and then Twilight he's a bear? <laughs> poofs into a bear? <laughs> poofs into a bear. Okay, Twilight poofs into a bear. <laughs> Twilight poofs. All into right, Xenos. 
All right, so there's one of those that's now um, a bear. Disadvantage. You okay. Attack yeah. the bear. Oh, oh yeah, you, so you've seen a bear come up out of the hold. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going. It's a drunk I'm, bear. I'm going <laughs> to cast my spell no, again. It's not. He, um, yeah, but this that. time I'm going to cast it as a second level spell. You're going to cast it as a second so level So it's going to affect both this guy and this guy, because they're both within 30 feet okay. of me. All right. Um, so I, I'm going to repeat. I told you to get off my ship. 14, you said, right? 12. Mine's 14. <clears throat> okay. Regardless. But, so so but it's a dis a dis that guy's disadvantage. One, the disadvantage one got a 12 on his low roll. I'm sorry, Doug. And the other one rolled a 13. Some days the bear. Yeah, yeah. Some days the bear gets you. <laughs> well, I'm gonna as move action grab the wheel so the ship doesn't oh, go careening good. into the reef or something. Well, this that's is not. This is, you're, you're out in the middle of nowhere. We middle. just oh, have right. to get back on track. Of <laughs> All right. Well. Yeah. He doesn't know manly. how to. He doesn't know how ships work, and he's the acting captain. He knows how ships work. He I got it. I know he enough. He can spin the wheel. He's just not as proficient. <laughs> you know as... how to do this. You steer that. Pot, exactly. Steer that ship. You. Swab you look, that deck. You look like you know what you're doing. You steer the ship. <laughs> I'm over here. He's uh, fighting. <laughs> He's currently fighting. But I'm over. I'm killing what? things. Uh, Good. Okay. Work your way this way. I'm trying to. So, okay. um, He's trying to wrap it up. The Sea Devil's turn. Um, knock over two of the the oh. random pirates. No, not, not, into, the not water. into the water. Just knock them over. They're oh. on, on They're deck. They're dead. They're currently unconscious. They might be dead well, eventually. That guy was drinking I too much. I cannot save them. Okay. Things happen. Uh, Sarsarel, you're getting attacked by one. No! I use my shield and I block him. That is a uh, 15 for sure. I use my shield hit. and block him. You block him. Um, ting, ting. Circ. I can't see. So I just minutes. didn't persuade yeah. them to Cirque's jump there. So he's there. got one there and one there. Did they understand? Okay, me? so you're getting attacked twice. Didn't they just knock one oh, wait. over? Yeah. One okay. of them did. <laughs> so he's getting attacked once. I'm getting attacked once. You're getting attacked once. Uh, that's a 19 okay. on the dice. So that is definitely going to hit you. Yup. So you're going to take six damage. Three damage. Uh, Bernadette is going to get attacked <laughs> twice. I like that. No. Three damage. So miss on the first attack and hit on the second attack for some damage. Um, more sea devils come up out of the water. More? Oh, Frank, can you go ahead and place those for me? In a right. place that would be advantageous for them. Um, and mm. then, mm. and then the bard of the yeah. ship is playing a jaunty tune. Um, As he should. Yeah. And then Bernadette oh, is going to hit okay. uh, the guy on the deck. On the, oh yeah, she does hit him. She kills that guy. Oh, good. Told me off my ship. Ah! <laughs> that, and, that, was, um, that was fancy. I like that. Uh, Nevermore is going to look to um, his captain on who he should target. He's going to um, make some motions and stuff. You've oh. got a clear line. Well, yeah, you've got no, a dude that that's on the ground. So yeah. you've got three there if he's got a spray. He's got a minus on will saves if he's got a minus. If he's yeah, I, I would point down to this guy that's got the minus on the wisdom saves. The disadvantage. Okay. Disadvantage. Yeah. So um, he will fire off some magic missiles at him. Okay. That is six and 10, 11. So he, he does some decent damage to that, that sea devil. All right, um, so that is them. Sarsarel is your turn. So, <clears throat> uh, is it is it a regular action to rally the crew, or is it a? Yeah, you can spend your action to rally the crew if you'd like. Well, either because I'm going to cast a spell, so I didn't know if I had to do that. Is, if it would be two regular actions, or it if would I be could... if you want to give them a bonus on something, it would be a. A standard action okay. to do that. All right, right then I will just cast Bless, and I will bless... This mess? Cirque. And are you going to be in melee at all, or are you going to 
be doing any attack. What is I, I'll be doing range to attack. To D4 to attacks. You might want to get it to me. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was, I was giving it to you. I'm just trying to figure out range. Oh, like, yeah. I could give it to you. myself. Uh, I'm going to be doing Or I could give it to one of the crew members. How many target three. can you do? So if you don't want to do it to yourself, then you could give it to Grim Bernadette. Yeah. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah. Like I Grim could Bernadette give it to one of the criminals. She's, so I'll give it to the yeah. bear, the and the two barbarians. Okay. So I tell them that the blessing of Umberly is upon us, and that we will overcome these monstrous sea creatures devils. from sea the devils. depths. These abominations. These abominations. The there we go. All right. So. And then, is there a way to dis to stand defensively, or is that also? That is an action that's as awesome well. Action. Yeah. Okay. So that's our Sorrel shipwreck. All right. Oh, kill some shit. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Who are you hitting? The one that I've already oh, hit. Yeah. So let's see. That's a twenty-two plus six. Twenty-eight to hit him. That hits okay. just fine. And blast lasts for ten rounds. Gonna, so it's a D four. You're gonna do your damage for any saving falls. throw or attack made for the next ten rounds. Let's see. Plus damage. So he takes eight <clears throat> from a punch. Oh, he dies. Okay. And you knock him clean out. Yep. How much damage do you think you put on him? To kill one? Uh, 18. About 20. Okay. So that's only a 4, 5, 9. Uh, it's only a 15 to hit. Uh, that is still going to hit. I rolled a 4. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the blessings. Mm -hmm. 4 damage. <laughs> 4 damage. Significantly less on the second punch. Is that <laughs> to one that's already injured, or I a do not new one? believe he is. Okay, so yet. he's gonna take four damage. Okay, uh, Ren. Oh wait, no. No. Uh, there's no, no one in the Ren water. Bernadette? So no. Oh, it's, not she, yet. Okay. It's okay. Corvin okay. next. Cool. Oh, in my back. Yep. Huh? Yeah. She cool. Uh, this guy needs to make a whiz save. The guy that with disadvantage yep. on the suit. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, <laughs> I the lowest I rolled was a thirteen. Nope. He needed a fourteen. Thirteen points of necrotic damage. Oh, good. Google him. Uh, that guy dies. No. Nope. <laughs> cool. Nice. As a bonus action, I'm gonna switch the save to this one. Okay. Or All right. the disadvantage. All He's right. got four arms. I got something. He's got a forearms. couple of forearms. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ren. All right, so you um, go to town on these guys. Yeah, too? so the one that is, what's um, what's the bonus for flanking? Because you and I are flanking that one. That's uh, advantage. Oh, advantage. Perfect. All right, so advantage plus a D four. Yeah. On your decks. Bite. If you oh. miss. Oh. Oh man. Ouch. Uh, so. It's not great. Um. But he had advantage. Yeah. I actually managed to miss my first attack with. What the did, I don't know that. What did you get? Uh, eight, nine, fourteen. That's still 14 hits. hits. Oh, well, all right. Then. 15 hit. I don't know I'm 14 hit. Come on now. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> Silence! Just have your dice obey the laws of physics. I, I don't see. like that. <laughs> Frank has, it takes if 10. If you can't see, Frank has a dice box that he rolls in. Uh, wormwood, if you're familiar, and he cannot get it in the tray. <laughs> it's not just in the dice box. The dice box is in the box that it came in. There's an extra lip. <laughs> yeah. And he's had enough of yours. So, <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Right. How much? Ten. Ten. Ten on the first okay. wing. All right. And then. Is this to an injured or non-injured? It is the non-injured one. Okay. That's okay. better. That one will definitely hit. All right. You can. 2d6. On if you got above a 14, you don't have to roll the d4. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just like to make sure. And then that'll be ten more. Okay, oh, he is nice. uh, barely hanging on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? Uh, you you take, some, you lose some. Your bite takes a good chunk out of him. Mm. You got that. Bite. Mike might have <laughs> might might <laughs> have done more it. than eighteen damage, <laughs> huh? Total before that one fell. Okay. So uh, it's but he is above twenty. Then. Yeah. Xenos. Okay. Uh, um. So is it? You don't get a D4. I don't get a D4. All right. <sighs> but you're um, also not making looking, melee. Looking at the raiders, can I tell <clears throat> which which raider is in charge? You can tell which one's that. Uh, the one that was in charge is dead. Kill. dead. Oh, is, okay. <laughs> so they're <laughs> disorganized right now. Well, oh, I mean, totally. as disorganized as a group of fish people <laughs> with a mission are. All right. I believe this is where, um, for the fish sake of on a mission, fish people. You they're know what? Fishing. I think I'm going to put some grease over here. You're make gonna it a little them? easier easier for that guy. So those those two ones. All sure. right. They, they need to make anything? reflex saving throws. <laughs> There's uh, dexterity saving throws. Yeah. And DC so. is twelve. Is this still yeah. or no? Yeah. Fishing no, no, no. for them. 
Um, okay, so one rolled a 12 and the other one did not. So Guys, be quiet. So You're going to scare them away. So the one, one is prone. Okay. Yeah. There's like kids with them. All right. Okay. And the other one's... Are you going to do a move action or I'm, a bonus? I'm, oh. I'm going to keep manning the ship. Well, you don't know. Oh, that's right. I've got like a hamburger. On and I, I tell Bernadette it's to go big. down there and kill, kill, kill him. Kill him. Yeah. All this right. guy right there and just work your way across. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So um, it is the fish folks turn. Um, one is going to move one square over so that he's flanking Howard. No. Oh. Or uh, Sarsarel. Mm -hmm. not, no. Not Howard. I do not approve of this. And that is a 19 to hit. Ah. And then the other one is also going to attack you. No! What did I do? And that is an 18 to hit. I'm so the two, chosen of Umberly. Two hit. They're you making know, a huge mistake. It, it's weird. It's almost like maybe they don't worship Umberly. Yeah, that's true. Um, so That's why they're going to die. <laughs> you take... We're having fish Friday night. Nine damage from Ouch. those two. Ow! Um, the... One that's on deck, uh, on the rail, mm -hmm. he's going to just toss, or try to toss that guy over. He does. So that oh! guy's off on that side. Oh, no. But he's away from the sharks. The sharks are over here, eating on one of the other dudes. Yeah. Um, so the, as long as he doesn't thrash around too much, it'll be fine. The sea yeah. devil that gets up, that's prone, gets up. And he is going to, they're both going to attack um, that one. Random crew member. Crew no. member no. number. Crew member's got a name and a backstory. Number uh, she three. falls down. No, that's not. Good. A do they end their turn that? Good name, or? Of course they do. Okay, so they need to make reflexes. They do. For deck saves. Um, one got an eighteen, and the other one's dice is cocked, so I need to roll it again. That is a six. That's a flat Whoops. six. That one falls down. Why don't you time? push that one in the in the water? All right. Yes. Go. <laughs> And they don't even know how to swim. No, they don't. No. That's <laughs> difficult for them. Uh, am I missing any others? Yeah, you got one near, you've got one just standing here, and okay. you've got one near Mike. Okay, so uh, they're going to move to attack Mike. If they can flank, they'll try to. If no, not, no. then they're just going to straight I up got, attack. I got a Rinny wall. Are you, did you recklessly attack last turn? No, I did not. Okay. So, natural one is not going to hit you, but a 16 will hit you yes, because you're no longer cheating. You're right. So that is five damage. Oh. Two damage. Two damage. <laughs> uh, and that is it for them. Uh, Grim Bernadette will, will jump down. She will jump to flank. It's a flank train. And yep. she will not attack recklessly this time. She'll just use her advantage. And she hits just fine. And she makes her, makes him wail in pain as she hits him from behind. Um, Nevermore is going to... Are you talking about the uh, crewman next to me? Yeah, Nevermore. Is he going to magic missile the guy over here on the... Uh... He sure could if you, that's what you want him to do. Yeah. So which one do you want him to attack? Not that one? There. Okay. So that is four, five, six, no. um, 11 damage. So that guy takes a lot of damage. Damn. Um, okay, Sarsarel. Are there any that haven't been hit yet? Uh, there is the, at least one. The one up here hasn't been hit? Yeah. Okay. And, and the one behind the... you. No, the no, one behind you is barely hit. hanging on. I mean, I'm There's, he fell fight. in the water, so that guy hasn't been hit, that guy hasn't been hit. He took a magic missile. There's only the one that hasn't been hit, so. So that okay. one, if there's only one, that's gotta be that guy. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. One at the rail. No, he's fresh. That guy just showed up, so he hasn't been hit yet. The guy at the rail hasn't been hit either. Yeah. So, um, so unless, there's a couple of them. Unless they were hit by guards. Right. Oh, okay. Pirates. Well, the loyal crew. So the one next to me is looking pretty beat up. The one between me and... Yeah. 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 yeah, he's yeah. almost there. Okay, if you so want I think kill I'll toll him. There you go. You gonna toll him? Yeah. What's so he needs to make a well save fifteen. Ooh, he made a nineteen. Oh, dang it. Okay. On the dice. All right. You should have told the one behind you that's at a disadvantage. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, I forgot that he had a disadvantage. You can do that. Is it to will him. saves? You guys. It is will saves. You guys are smart enough to know that he okay. doesn't. Perfect. Save. So, so has he taken damage? He is injured. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then the, I gotta get my D twelve out. Indeed, you do. I didn't know I was gonna need it. <laughs> 
they're wearing hit points right here. 11 Ooh. damage. Now we're going to have to pay for that hard. No, 30 seconds or less is free. Uh, okay, <laughs> so he takes some damage. <laughs> Shipwreck, it is your turn. Is he still alive? Uh, he... Bernadette hit him and then he... Oh, that 11? was the one that Bernadette hit? Yeah. yeah. Uh, n yeah, actually he is. Okay. I did apply it to the crew. So one. the one I was I had already hit, I'm gonna try to hit him again. Okay. Uh, that's gonna hit. I'm not even gonna have to roll for the other uh not also gonna hit. So first attack. Oh. Uh it? So seven. Okay, he takes seven damage. And then three more. So okay. Ten total. And how describe how that happens, the ten damage that you deal. So he's... Are you just punching away? Well, he's above me, so I'm going to hit him in the chin. Okay. So that he bends over like, ow, and then I'll uppercut him. Okay. This is how chin. This is how chin. This is chin. So how chin. I hate doing this. <laughs> I like that, I like that a lot. <laughs> All right. Um, the, the sharks start moving away from um, where they were. Is he okay. still alive? The this one's on the, the opposite side. He's on the opposite no, no, side. No, the guy that I punched. Yeah, he okay. is. Okay, just making sure. Um, so, uh, Corbin? Uh, so I hold my bell out. Tick, tick, tick. He needs to make a whiz save at disadvantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's going to try. 14. Uh, because, oh, that's a 19. Um, yes, he saves. Okay. Oh. Uh, it was a 16 and a 19. That is my that is my go. Okay. All right. Um, so Corvin, you hear a, a, a pirate on in the water saying, "Hey, um, little help, little help getting back in." This seems like Maybe a heroic throw, action throw for the captain. Throw a rope or something. Yeah. Who wants to make? I don't see any ropes. The crew me. love him. There's ropes. It's a ship. Who's not doing anything else an useful, anyways? Uh, I'll let you do it as a move action if you want. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I have to move to get to the side. Is he on this side though? Yeah. 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 He's over. He fell in the water over there. There's here. one yeah. over there as well. That's because there's like, one next to. There's he's no dead. reason to put him over. Oh, he's already dead. The one on that side. Oh no, that's the that one. Yeah, the, yeah, but the one, one that you're pointing by. That guy is actually over here. here. He's actually over. Oh, okay, okay. He was the guy. This one's true. Gotcha. Um, all right. So Ren. All right. So the guy that we're yeah. flanking. You got advantage. Okay. Uh, you got advantage. That's plus better. D4. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Seventeen. Twenty. That hits. Can you do two damage to this guy? Oh, man. Yeah, I can. He's dead. <laughs> oh, you That's rough. So uh, I actually... Slash him. Oh, no. No, because it's my um, it's uh, my bite. So I actually dig into him and then fling him Ooh. up and over. Okay. And off the ship. All right. He goes and off the I'm ship. Then I'm going to move to there, so I'm flanking that guy. That might give the sharks a new target. The bleeding guy. Yeah. And then I'm that going to attack guy the guy in, the the in between other guy. us. He's thrashing. And that'll hit. Okay. Um, All right. He will take eight. That's a little weak sauce. He takes eight? Yep. All right. Is that the one that Mike was attacking? Mm -hmm. or? Yeah. Oh, he dies too. He, he kills still you, Mike. That's fine. <laughs> Xenos? Okay, so. Actually. No, that's a four-armed no. guy. He's a, yeah, it was, yeah, he's full. Yeah. He's oh, full. okay. The one that Mike hit was the one that was on the step because he jumped yeah. up. and. All right. So um, that guy's eight. Um, do something heroic. All right, all right, or I'll do something heroic. Captainly. You, you want to go throw a homeboy the rope? Grab a rope and yeah, swing around the ship. Um, well, that's. I what am I was the pirate thinking. king. Um, so before I leave the wheel, um, okay. I tell the, the sorcerer here I want to to man the to keep the ship pointing straight. He squawks at you and <laughs> finish that guy off. This guy over here. You're the best at this game, Corbin. And then... Uh, <laughs> that's a different one. Oh, if I, I, is it safe to assume that there would be a rope that's attached sure. to the ship over here? Sure, Good. absolutely. So I'll run over here, grab the rope. Acrobatics check. Cool. And I'm going to jump over the side and swing down to rescue my crewman. Oh, look at you. Nice. I'm going to you know, pretend that I'm a, um, a swashbuckler or something. Okay, Mike passes down and that's, that's a sweet move. You might need this in a second. Yeah, I've got it. <laughs> Acrobatics uh, check. So here we go. No. Whoa. That was um, that was rolling off the table. That was the most something nothing you've ever. Okay, nice. so that is <laughs> let's see here. That's a twenty-one. Twenty-one. On my is acrobatics. Definitely wait, wait. enough. Yep. 21. To swing down and grab a hold of him. All right. So I've got him. 
swing back up. You can. You're not really? gonna. You're not gonna get enough to get onto deck, but you can get enough to like grab a hold of so, the ship. So I'm now hanging on right by here. Something like that. Sure. So I don't think that's gonna work. Here, but you know what? Hold. We've got axe and down. shield combat risers. Well, give me a combat risers. <laughs> grab the guy. <laughs> awesome. Swung back. They really take our game almost, to another level. Are we they do. Hmm? So are now, we yeah. Now I'm I'm yeah. just hanging right there. Where, where's my crewman? Captain. Where's my crewman? I saved somebody, please. And he used his entire action to do that. I think that that's fair. I did. He also got an uh, inspiration because of it. That's. I didn't know fantastic. we got inspiration for defying laws of gravity. <laughs> Apparently, it's Gravity a different is, world, man. Gravity Have you never so seen Return of the Jedi? Oh, not that. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm like so, Luke Skywalker. I'm here to uh, rescue you. Magic the rogue. one that's up on <laughs> the off. rail there, he's gonna no. step down so to him. where he's flanking with the other guy. Uh, uh. He's gonna make his two attacks at, at Howard with advantage. So first attack is not gonna hit. That is only a thirteen. Second, uh, ooh, you lucked out. Um, the other one's gonna go ahead and make his two attacks as well, though. Against me, not against Grim Bernadette? Uh, eh, you know what? You got a good point there. So he'll just make his two attacks, and the, neither one of those hit either. So, um, uh, the one on the four deck, is that the four deck, Frank? The one that's up close to me? Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, he's gonna. You know shit yeah, sure. stuff? Yeah. <laughs> All right, he's going to jump down, and he's going to attack Cirque. You were in the Navy. You know how this pirate ship works. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't um, much different than like the ship you were on. That is exactly. a 16, it is like it was and then the other one <laughs> is yes. not going to exactly. hit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just like it was yesterday. Four damage. Two damage. Not uh, I think that's all of them. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? Uh, Grim Bernadette's gonna make her attack. She's gonna make it <laughs> advantage because she's flanking. Um, she gets enough to hit him. <laughs> so much of that. So much of that. And she finishes that one off. Nice. So I don't have to worry about him anymore. And Making then, um, nevermore, because he has to use his action to drive the ship, that's all he's gonna do. Fair enough. He um, was told by the captain to steer the ship. That's right. He's following orders. Sarsero? I shake my head sadly at the loss of a sorcerer's touch here in the battle. Because we could always get the ship straightened out <laughs> after the fight's done, but whatever. Decisions have been made. Uh, <laughs> who's the captain around here? I'm gonna. That's right. Can I step. There's up? no captain on the ship. Can I step. Am I. He's on the side of the ship. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Am I <laughs> flanking if I step up awesome. to here? I'm doing something yes, heroic. You are. Can I do sure. That? Yeah. I step up to there so that I'm flanking this guy that keeps attacking me. Yeah. And I'm going to attack him because... With advantage. Yeah, because I have advantage. Is that going to work out for you? I think so. Has he taken damage? No. Uh, I believe all... Of, well, no. Actually, there is no, one that isn't. has not taken damage. And that that's one the is one that, is, that, that is the one. Damage. Okay. That is a 16 to hit him? 16 is going to hit. Perfect. So I stab him in the back with my, maybe in the side, with my trident for eight damage. Okay, he takes that damage and he is not happy with it. I bet. He's like, that's a nice trident. It is a nice trident. Um, it's not as nice as my armor. Shipwreck? Oh, right, somebody so gonna die. <laughs> Let's see, so that's 14, 14 plus your bonus. So yeah. 18 to hit the same 18. guy I've been punting? That's only been four guys. Is that He's right? been punting. Since I cast bus? I think so. <laughs> he kick him in the head. Yeah, yeah. set a timer out. But. So nine damage to him. You kill that guy? All right, so I... How do you kill him? I punch him in the stomach, <laughs> and then I, as my hand goes into him, I now use him to punch his friend. <laughs> <laughs> you improvise weaponing him? Yeah. All right. Oh, that awesome. is fantastic. That's fair enough. All right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Love You're it. attacking the next one? It's a large yeah. improvised weapon. Which you one? can do the an one? extra. This is going to be a D8, not a D6. <laughs> okay. You're going to you're gonna go with the one that you're the, flanking? The forearm guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, do I have advantage on that? Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's Yeah, it's still it's 16 to hit him. You hit him. That lower, lower. So nine? Oh, he dies too. <laughs> <laughs> so you hit him, and he goes flying overboard. 
Um, all right, so that was shipwreck. Uh, the sharks are nipping at you. Um, nipping at me? I'm swinging back up though. They jump. Yeah, I know, but, but they, they're they breach. You know, they breach out of the water, and you've they seen fly. you've seen shark. <laughs> There's an area of non gravity. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know. I think it is real thing. These yeah. sharks actually have wings <laughs> in this world. Uh, Corvin, it is your turn. Uh, do you bonus wanna, action. Do you want to be upset at what Xenos just did? Oh, I'm not upset. I just I shake my head and go, clearly whatever deity is ruling this <laughs> has no concept of how things are supposed to work. Okay. <laughs> As a bonus action, I shift the hex to this guy. Oh, okay. And then he can make a wisdom save. All right. Because, because physics? Uh, nope. Two nope. fives. Cool. He can take six points in necrotic damage. Okay, he takes six points in necrotic damage. He is still standing. But how does that work? How does what work? <laughs> necrotic does, damage? No. How does an imaginary bell go ding, ding, ding? Uh, red. Well, see, I through my evil pact with the sentient sword, <laughs> I told... Shh. Spoilers, yo. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Ren, knows. it's your turn. All right, so... um, I don't yet. I reposition... <laughs> or I'm not going to be able to... So I'm going to go ahead and attack dude. Um, All right. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. 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 Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and hit him. Um, I will... I had a four. I could have rolled that. Well, two. there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, no I point. doubling. Or I will be point. doubling because I don't do sure. that roll twice <laughs> thing. Oh, that's a two. Natural. So take seven. Seven. Or right. no, do you double? You add. You, you double, double the dice. No, you double the dice. All right, so seven total. Okay. He takes that. Now He's swing with the ball. Also a natural <laughs> twenty. Another chance. That's another the twenty. Hell, wow. <laughs> another chance to make a fool of the dice. <laughs> no, uh, so six, twelve, uh, seventeen. You kill him. So how again, did, I. Uh, how does that happen? Which one? So uh, I think that one. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I um, I just bitch slap him up and over. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, right? You go, and his body goes over the rail, but his head keeps spinning and drops, and then rolls through the the rail. It's got no that pump. back spin on it, <laughs> and then the shark goes. Uh, so he, he basically he pulls his her. arm back like this, mm -hmm. and then does it because <laughs> it's he's a bear. There's a big pause. Zeno. <laughs> well, I finished my swing up yep. to the up here. You need oh, to make you, your you need to make an athletics <laughs> check to climb aboard. An athletics check? It can't be part of my acrobatics. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. you've lost momentum. <laughs> it was part of the you same did. You so grabbed you on the grabbed on the suddenly yeah. physics matters. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh -huh. The weight tripled on that rope. <laughs> yeah, I really did. I'm um, here. I told what, you you did that. What, in a yep. <laughs> what did you get? I got a five. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just didn't make any progress. Uh, I got a two. Oh, so, oh, so, oh. So you'll take so that five. the five. That's yeah. Your move action. You can use your standard action to take a move if you'd like and. So I'm holding on to the side or of the, you can just of be the like, ship. Yeah. And then I have. You didn't get less than five, so you're so, fine. So can I see the one that's surviving? Yeah. From my, okay, so I, I'm going to hit him with a firebolt through the... Are you going to cast a spell? Can I do that while I'm held on the side of the ship? Does it have a somatic computer? He's going to waggle his fingers, both, it's a, both hands. <laughs> V-S? Well, you've, yes, got, you've got a crew so, member and a rope. <laughs> well, the crew member so so is holding on, on too. Oh, well then that's fine. Just yeah. bite the rope and... No, it's, a, it's just a point. It's a point and shoot. Thing. Is that how it works? No, it's yeah. not point and shoot. Fireball. It's point and shoot. It's a cantrip. It's not a, a fireball or something. You can use his tongue. No, All right. Tongue. Fine. I, just bring fine. dude aboard. <laughs> I mean, you can you can no, certainly no, no. try. I think you should. I do got it. a 15 of my ac okay, athletics. You, you climb right climbing. up That's over. Better. That's right. so much better. And the other game. guy goes ahead and he <clears throat> he has strength. He has He's fine. He gets up and over. All right. Maybe he actually shoves, like a little, a little push. You know, <laughs> using both my hands to push you up and over, it makes it harder for me to hold on to the. <laughs> but physics don't work on this side of the ship. So. That's don't make it, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> save yourself. You bravely saved me, so I'm gonna do the same. Um, okay, so that's Zenos. There's one guy left. Yeah. Yep. He's gonna try to get away. Oh, uh, he's not? currently Where? being flanked by Rin and Sarsaro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's... Well, fun. and then he gets to choose. Does he want to run towards Grouper <laughs> and Jack? 
for his search. <laughs> Try and go that yeah, way. Yeah, that, that's the way he's gonna sure, try to go. So you sure. make your attack. Uh, of opportunity, this, you make your attack. You I get one too. If he's Unless he moves, just he can it. only disengage from one. He can't disengage from two. Why not? That's how it works. I'm gonna kill him. So. So he's Bro going to. Bro um, well, hold on. He's gonna disengage from you. <laughs> and you can take your attack of opportunity. All right. With advantage. If you it take a matter. disengage action, your movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks for the rest of the turn. I believe it's from one. That's the entire. I know. Chapter. I'm gonna, making a ruling. I'm gonna <laughs> hit him for six damage. You hit him for six damage. But that's why it's a he's injured. Standard and action, he jumps in the water. not a move action. He jumps in the water. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. He gets away. No. Doubt. Bravely. 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 How far does he get? Well, uh, so he gets, he jumps into the water. Uh-huh. Let's say he sinks five feet into the water. Okay. And he is now five feet below the surface. Okay. That's yeah. fire. I can't how, how far did he move to get to the edge? Maybe about 15, 10 feet, 15, 15 feet. 15 feet. Okay, so, and he's got a swim speed of 40. So he will then get 35 feet underneath the water. Cool. He's still in range. All right. Cool. He, make a wisdom save. Do you have to see? Is it a target you can see? I'm fine with you killing this guy, but how clear is the water? You point at one creature. <laughs> well, you oh, there's can a lot see of blood. I have, it's and night. I have dark vision, so there's a lot of blood in the water from the sharks and stuff. Okay, well then, um, maybe I make a don't have check. to see on okay. Eldritch Blast. So he, I'll make up for some Eldritch Blast. <laughs> I thought you were gonna ring your bell because he's been injured. Yeah, but I can't see him. Okay. Arr. Uh, yeah. Uh, 20. 20 perception? 20 to hit him. 20, 20 to, hit to hit him, him will hit him. Okay. That's fine. And what does this look like when you shoot out your For Eldritch Blast? Eight points of damage? Yeah, you that? totally toast him. <laughs> um, so, you and that damn black dark energy. That's right. <laughs> um, does it look like so you've I'll gone over and I'll take a step here. No, I'll look over as he jumps in and starts swimming away. Uh-huh. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a, like a red bolt of black energy around it shoots into the water and... <laughs> <laughs> and then the sharks who were on the yeah. surface go down. And yeah. they... Maybe fries, got fries. him. <laughs> Good job. We got okay. a lot of fish Indeed. now for eating, too. Yeah. So, there are several dead sea devils on deck. Um, there are several crew members who appear I will to use, be suffering injuries. I will use... Uh, uh, Grim Bernadette is very happy at... Spare um, the dying on anybody that needs it. Okay. So that they're all stabilized. Okay. Um, at this point, uh, Handsome Maisie can come up and help that with that, too. So okay. she can help stabilize. Grim um, Bernadette was happy about what? She's happy that she got to fight. Yeah. She's like, um, good did job. She, did she feel invigorated mm-hmm. by my blessing? Mm-hmm. Yes. She thanks you for helping her out with that. Um, so, you know, I'm going to just head to high seas. Um, to the high seas it is. Mm-hmm. I'll go Great. back to uh, high sea, high sea when it's up to me. My natural form. Cool. Look around. I'm gonna start rummaging through the sea devils. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go back downstairs. Okay. Back to drinking. Where is Remington? I'm gonna go back Remington downstairs. is passed out. Do any of them have oh, better tridents? Oh, Zenos is asking where is No, first... when Zenos has some, Corbin's like, Do any oh, of them have better tridents than I had? He got drunk with uh, half the crew down below. There's a, sea, there's a cool seashell trident. It's we were attacked. The one you yeah, had. No, the first it, officer it was a... He's passed out. He, he really can't hold his liquor whatsoever. He can't stand up in a rowboat, and he can't. He's of oh, no use to us uh, when we're attacked. Oh, it's terrible. I and need I, a new first officer. I know someone that's reliable. <laughs> yeah, you're doing. <laughs> so I'm going through the sea devil stuff, and then I pick up a body and hawk it over. <laughs> Wait, we gotta fry that up. You can't eat this. Why? It's not. It's no good. I'm gonna make it. Probably it's not, also not after um, the sharks have eaten it. It's also a, an intelligent humanoid. Corvin doesn't bring that part up. <laughs> <laughs> They're fish. I mean, they do taste like fish. So what's the problem? <laughs> it's the oil on the skin. 
Um, a little tough. Everyone's the meat. Um, so when you search, <laughs> I'm you I'm like, own oil. when you search through the bodies, Adam, you find that several of them appear to uh, have. Action shield on. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I, that we definitely usually, needed to stop. Usually, this cost a lot. We uh, so when you're searching through them, they have um, several items that could be considered coins if you were living below the sea, like uh, <laughs> shiny shells and stuff. Cool. They also have nets that they had planned to take your stuff. Below the sea win. So you've got several nets made cool. out of like kelp and uh, and stuff like that. Oh, this will last about an hour of them. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great for like holding some drunk crew members over the side of the boat. You mean keel all? <laughs> well, you probably shouldn't no, keel all like, anybody. Fr- just on the side. Yeah. Just so they wake up and they're like, I'm going to actually <laughs> run them over with the boat. <laughs> Well, oh, I'm you don't driving. run them over. You just drag them along the yeah, bottom. You have one guy on each side of the boat and you pull them up. <clears throat> Yeah, that might be a little excessive. I, well, mean, I mean, there's maybe just one to make an example. There's definitely. Yeah, I think Remington once. as an example makes sense. <laughs> what about the example of the one that fell overboard and got eaten by sharks? No one saw that. Yeah, mm-hmm. nobody alive he saw that. He will be mourned. <laughs> all we heard I was the. Cry. I saved one of them from being eaten by sharks. Okay, Are all of them just still passed out drunk. There's so there's ten pirates. Mm-hmm. Crewmen's one through ten. <laughs> Including number four. So immersive. <laughs> <laughs> there is Remington, wow. uh-huh. who is passed out. Um, and um, there is Nevermore just kind of chuckling. Or no, uh, Poe is chuckling at the, the rest of them downstairs. Um, did Poe never come upstairs? No, to he fight? did not. <laughs> the heck? Um, he was guarding the sleeping pirate. <laughs> right. Yeah, and the treasure that's below deck. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's that's what you see downstairs. Okay, below deck. That's what it's called. It's not called downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? In this topsy turvy world, Up, <laughs> upstairs, downstairs. Um, you can call it what you want. So oh, at yeah, this point, what do you guys want to do? I want to take this seashell trident. You can have a seashell trident. And I'll just take it as a, if I'll take were, like the nicest yeah. looking one and I'll take that no. as an offering for Umberly when we get back to the temple. Sure. I was hoping to have a laptop for streaming. Um, any, anybody else doing anything? I'm going to go and nap. I, I check on the, the injured crew, make sure everyone's all right. I, can, I thank those that uh, fought bravely and gallantly. Um, okay. Nevermore and, and Bernadette. And I'm pulling crew members. That are drunk up to the top of the deck. Oh, I, what's gonna happen to them? We'll see. All right. Um. <laughs> so you see uh, shipwreck pulling uh, unconscious crew members from below deck up to the top. Lash them to the mast. <laughs> There's only one. Yeah, one that's, that's only gonna be like four dudes. <laughs> uh, I don't Take think four. you're concerned about their comfort, right? <laughs> Not really. You can make as many of them uh, tied to that mast as possible. Lash them to the mast. Just by wrist. Can you use that to restore <laughs> no, hit points? Like, like, is that a, you can't reuse it, use um, it to restore hit points, but you can definitely still, use it to stabilize. Pretty it. sure there's a. And if they throw I, up, I can stabilize it more clean than spells. Pretty sure isn't there like lashings or something that happens to those who Well, they were drunk. They were drunk below deck while we were being raided. We were in battle, active combat, and half the crew was asleep. I mean, I guess you should bring that up to your second in command when he, he's in that pile. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's lashed to the mast. So, so you're lashing them to the mast. Mm-hmm. There's ten of them. No, eleven of them. He's, they're going double up. All right. Well, okay. Hey. Remington can be lashed to the whatever. <laughs> what's this, Frank? What's the, the y'all ask me one more damn nautical thing? <laughs> Just one more. Yeah, that's that the stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's the front stick. <laughs> the front stick thing. You can lash him to the front stick. Lash him to the front stick. Right. Four mast, maybe? I think no. it is the four mast. <laughs> no, it's the front stick. Um, <laughs> I'm so apparently he's the there. nautical. <laughs> you get to make up all the terms. Frank, you were in the Navy. Dude, it's not like long we're just ago I was them. in the Navy. When not this, this long ago. Do you know <laughs> how <laughs> many of the ships he was on had a four mast? <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. We're getting off top. <laughs> 
So you, you tie <laughs> yeah. the guys up. Yep. And then what happens? Um, well, I um, gather the... Once the, the, the crew are healed up... What does... Uh, does Remington have on him? <laughs> are you taking Remington stuff? I was I was thinking about planting something on him from some of the, one of the other crew members. Um, he has a. Oh, well, you want to do that? Go for it. Um, he has a saber. Uh huh. Oh. Um, he has a jacket. It's fairly nice. All of these people things. Um, mm-hmm. oh, and back to sleep. <laughs> Let me a, let me scroll a, down to some exactly. treasure here. Um, I should go talk to the sharks. And he has a Tell them stop tricorn hat. Oh, I take his hat. Well, I'll take the jacket, the hat, and the saber off of him. Jeez, guys. And I'll walk over to Xenos and be like, "This is the best way to." Okay. Um, I need to check with a quarter. Which one of the? Uh, that would be um, Nevermore. Nevermore. So I asked Nevermore. Um, I said, all right, so I understand there was this drinking thing going on mm-hmm. downstairs under Remington's watch. Careful eye. Um, how are the ship's stores as far as uh, ale and whatnot mm. drinks are concerned? Did we depl- I, Was it deplenished? So I'll, be, I'll stand there, uh-huh. and I'll be like, fine, and then I stop. Half gone, and then I stop. Almost empty, and then I stop. Uh, he says half gone. Half gone. In, the- in two days. Right? This is our second mm-hmm. day at sea. And well, it's we're... not, it's not ale, it's rum. Rum, okay. So the rum is half gone after two days at sea. They were doing whole tankards of it. All right. <laughs> so, um, with the, the crew gathered time. together, mm-hmm. I, um, tell them that I understand that, uh, Mr. Remington has, unfortunately allowed and encouraged and participated in half of the ship's rum being <coughs> drunk up. As a uh-huh. reaction, I roll my eyes. And therefore, <laughs> unfortunately, because of Mr. Remington's actions, we're going to have to ration the rum oh, for the rest no. of the trip. Okay. Um, also, um, since I take, kind, I take much offense to half the crew sleeping and being drunk while we're in hostile waters, um... The uh, those that were engaged in inappropriate conduct will be suitably punished. Okay. Um, Mr. Remington, who is in charge of all of that, will be on the front stake. I believe the nautical term is stick. Stick. The front stake. The front stake. The foremast. Foremast. Um, Whatever. <laughs> for the next uh, next shift, and those who are lashed to the uh, the mast here have the job of swabbing the deck and cleaning up the mess of the battle. Okay. All right. And the bosun is who makes sure those orders are carried out, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, Grim, that would be Grim, Grim Bernadette. Bernadette. Yeah. Grim Bernadette, you've heard my orders. <laughs> she's heard your orders. She walks over to Sirk and she's like, uh, I'm going to need the stuff back, though. What stuff? The stuff that he just gave to you. The, the hat? hat? The coat and the saber? Yeah. Well, he can't. Have when. It. While he's on the stick. No, we right. wouldn't want to lose it. So when, but, he's, yeah. when he's done. Well, I mean, I could go put it on him and it could fall off into the ocean. Is that what you'd like? No, she says, I yeah, just want to make it, sure that no, it's that goes safe to the quartermaster. Re- return to it. That goes to the quartermaster. You put it in his bunk. That's quartermaster, nevermore. Uh, yeah. You take possession of. Uh, okay. Make sure Remington okay. gets his stuff back. Yes. I didn't say that. I said take possession. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, the next day. Well, I need to do a we have check the day. on. Oh, That's right. a, it was night. So that was we, night. We still have time, right? Because we can work the crew and. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, at this point, the crew that is left to sail the ship is fairly. Uh, beat up. Beat up. They've been in a fight. Yep. A few of them have had hit points restored, but they're still tending wounds, and they're not at full hit points. Right. And the other half are recovering from being drunk right. and passed out. So I mean, I could heal them up and then rest. I don't think you can heal them to full. Okay. I healed to full. Because they're... <laughs> I healed to full. So um, what you're saying is I'll probably get advantage on the persuasion rolls I'm about to try. <laughs> What are you going to do? I'm going to go through and I'm going to 
start talking these guys up, the ones that survived the battle, the ones that are left to carry the weight of what happened with Remington and just be like, I'm the captain so proud of you men for picking up after Remington and and he led the rest of the crewmen into that drunken stupor. Um, okay. Know that he doesn't hold the crew responsible. That was clearly a leadership. Clearly. Uh, go impressive. ahead and make your persuasion check. Oh, not bad. 18. Okay. Um, you get a lot of nodding of heads. Um, they don't necessarily openly speak ill of Cap, uh, of uh, Mr. Remington because they don't want to um, well make an insight check. Two. Okay. <laughs> then you don't know. Why are y'all making all this noise? <clears throat> all right. Sleep. So is that it? <laughs> Does anybody else want to do anything before um, we move on to the next day? I, I would also want to talk with the crew that are cleaning up and um, let them know that I understand that they were they were just following Remington's lead. And okay. That uh, I just hope that next time that uh, they, they exercise better judgment and uh, maybe, you know, look to their captain. But they are you mad points. or are you just disappointed? Disappointed. All right. Um, disappointed. Why don't you go ahead and make a persuasion check with disadvantage? Disappointed. Oh. <laughs> with uh, disadvantage? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, man. That would be a six. Okay. That's weak sauce captaining right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You get a lot of sour looks <laughs> at that. All right. Well, I'm gonna, I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> I'm going to go over to Grim Bernadette uh -huh. when she's not close to the acting captain. Sure. And ask her if I can help her uh, recover some hit points, however. She um, didn't get hit. She didn't at all? Oh, no. Oh, okay. no. She, she just murdered. Yeah. All right. She's well, like, I'm good. Murder. Know that she got I'm really she, impressed and she, with her. She goes back to the home. Her fighting so. prowess. Yeah? yeah. She's like, yeah. That's it what was I do. A lot of fun. I like to fight. To, uh, <laughs> to see her in action. Yeah. And uh, regardless of what happens with the leadership of the, the crew, I'm really happy that she's on our side. I say our, like the royal our. Yeah, the ship's side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I talk to her? Sure. I'll be like, I'll, once she takes the helm back. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's totally where I would be sleeping. Oh, that's okay. The crowd's pretty quiet. He's standing on his... He's standing on... <laughs> he's he's standing on my box! box. Well, yeah. yeah. All right. That's that the captain's just one box. Leg. It's like the Captain Morgan lean. Oh. <laughs> Where's the... I cheer at you from up at the crow's <laughs> Oh, he's over here. <laughs> um, he's totally doing that. In Dwarven, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask her if... Because this is one of the... second. This is like the second time I sailed, sailed on the ship. Mm. Is this regular? Mm. You know, things flowed a little bit more smoothly when Jib was in charge. I is, think that I think the crew is kind of testing Xenos to see what they can get away with. Is Remington trying to? Would he usually try and take half the crew out in one go? I don't think that was his intention. It's pretty successful. <laughs> I mean, do you usually carry the weight of the fighting? Ah, uh, no, Remington's a good hand. Okay. Does he usually leave you in a lurch like that? Uh, I don't see it that way, she says. Really? So... Yeah, to be quite honest, he handles his alcohol fairly well most of the time, so... Oh. It's kind of so, surprising that... He didn't win the drinking contest. Does that mean he just was planning on taking out half the crew? Does he not get along with the rest of the crew? No, he does. Well, why would he want him waylaid underneath the... You'd have to ask him. Do you think maybe the thing between him and Xenos is going a little too far? You'd have to ask him. Do you want to make a persuasion check? Sure. Go for it. You don't get advantage, but you okay. can make a persuasion check. Uh, oh. My persuasion would be a 23. Okay. Um, you sense that you get, a, uh, your arguments ha are not entirely, um, unheard. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. And then I'll say, figured we'd have it 
this discussion in your tongue because I don't want the crew to hear. Have a good night, and then I'll leave. Okay. Um, so the next day, Doug, why don't you roll um, personals for me? That would be a 12. A 12, okay. Uh, so the next day uh, passes without incident. Um, the crew eventually gets to the point that they are back to fighting condition. Um, uh, Mr. Remington asks for his items back and... Um, Kind of does a mea culpa, hope there's no hard feelings. I don't take any hard feelings for being tied to the foremast for the punishment. I think that was earned. Um, yeah. And um, if there's no fuss, things temp they uh, go back to normal at this point. That's up to you, Zeus. Um, and there's no fuss. He did his punishment. He did his punishment. Mm -hmm. Took it like a man. Mm -hmm. All right. Good he admitted guilt. All right. So I tell him I don't want. I want the I want the rest of our voyage to whichever one of these islands we're going to. <laughs> wow, that's with. that's some great <laughs> captain in hey, charge. Zenos would know which which <laughs> island we're going to. You're going to the island of Lorath. All right. So why are we going to I the island of Lorath anyway? Because it's on the way to the other island which we need to go to, and there's supposed to be treasure and adventure and survival of the fittest to? and testing your metal yeah. against there's other creatures and monsters. Hold, there. hold on. I will explain to you, because clearly Doug does not <laughs> Sar Sorel had a vision sure did. of an island with a ruby beam that was jutting up into the mm -hmm. sky. He believes this vision was granted to him by his deity. Yep. Um, and We're on a holy mission. And given one island over the other, there was one that was closer than the other, and so this is closer. Lorath was chosen. But I'm pretty sure there'll be something there for you to test your metal against. So we're good. Speaking and in the event, he's just doing. Um, he doesn't use metal. <coughs> Got straight glasses. So we might have a Xenos. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what was Xenos doing before all well, that came up? Oh. I, all right, I was talking to Remington. the boat? Yes. And I, I'm steering the boat. You're steering the boat. Burnington's so I was telling Remington, Remington that I expect that the rest of our trip to Lorath that uh, will go smoothly. Mm -hmm. And I do not want to see any more of the crew killing each other, getting drunk, <laughs> or anything of the sort, so that we can make it there with all hands and hopefully be ready for whatever challenges all hands we... All mine is Steve. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Worse. We've already we ha had had Remington and the rest of the crew not been drunk and unconscious down below. We may not have even lost Steve. Actually, Steve would have been dead too. He was overboard before we got up. That's true. But I'm not saying that. No, you're not saying that. And Remington certainly, certainly doesn't know that. So what Remington <laughs> doesn't know won't hurt him. Bernadette so, says, uh, "By the way, uh, Captain." Um, I'm not saying this in earshot it, of Bernadette. It was you, me, and this Nevermore. Is, this is in the captain's quarters, oh, I yeah. assume. Okay. Is this yes. a dress down? Yes. With just Remington? Just who, him. Who else is in the room? Not me. Not me. This just is awkward. It's Re Remington and Zenos? Yeah. Two men enter. <clears throat> One Remington leaves. He <laughs> <laughs> Remington and... I know we have our differences, <laughs> but... We don't want any more misfortune. What do you say? He Make says, your time. you're Someone right. Us up my crew <laughs> must survive this mission. Um, the rest of my crew. Uh, and uh, I will do my best to um, keep everyone in line. Good. Get out of my captain's quarters. <laughs> he says, enjoy it while you have it. Oh, oh yeah. I am. Very comfortable. Can I just <laughs> eat him? I mean, can I just turn into a bear and just... <laughs> you can try. He, <laughs> he no walks question. out. Mm -hmm. um, in charge of a bunch of And, um, yeah. So I that, don't really okay. care. That is I it really for the day. Do you guys want Which to do anything to specifically? Thinner, Captain. Um, I'd spend some time copying down a care. spell, and I, I would really want to go walk around and... Sure. Can I make yeah. inside checks to see how the crew is handling sure. yesterday? Sure, you can. So, so... 
I I would expect that for the most part, you're going you guys are going to spend a day either working or not working on the ship as you choose. Um and that's mostly for you and for him. I would I would assume that everybody else is working on the ship. But yeah, I don't um <laughs> and then there's eight hours of sleeping, and then there's eight hours of miscellaneous things that you want to do. So you can definitely, Doug, you can, Xenos can spend um, eight hours of his miscellaneous projects writing down spells, and um, and what did you get for your insight on the code? Um, that would have been ten. Um, you get the sense that you've probably won crewmen's one through nineteen. Or 11 through 19, over. Because 20, Steve, is Went dead. <laughs> Went into the drink. Um, you've made a, a serious ally for the one that you rescued. That earned you a lot of points there. Um, and then as far as the command crew go, they're a little hard to read. They're playing their cards close to the vest. Okay. Um, Cirque, you doing anything? I'm just I think I can be piloting and then run stuff. I'll look to see. You want to play some pirate darts? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. I've done much um, of the drinking thing before. It's new. Look to see if there's any way we can repel um, sea devils from trying to climb over the edge again. Okay. Oh, that's, I'll help you with that. Um, the easiest way would t be to have all hands on deck. Um, but you could probably put some preventative measures in place. Yeah. Maybe we could take the trident tips and spike the sides or, or something. Or just throw ball bearings and jacks on the ground right in front of the <laughs> rail. Yeah. Yeah. Just slide off. Yeah. Maybe we could grease the side or something. I don't yeah. Know. Um, Adam, what does Corvin do during the day? Uh, he wants to split his time up. He wants to go talk with Poe. Okay. Hey, Corvin, how's it going? Crazy night, huh? <laughs> He repeats it back to you. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did with his brother, where okay. I, you know, as I'm talking to him, I'll say mm -hmm. different variations of it. Okay. And let him mimic back whatever. Sure. Whatever he's doing. I just want to chat him up. Okay. And um, we're not allowed to play pirate darts, but I can still throw a dagger. Mm hmm So I'll be down in the hole with him. Okay. And I'll just be throwing the dagger and being like, Oh, that would have killed number four. <laughs> Walk over. Um, he's willing to play with you as well. And cool. you guys aren't aiming at each other, but... Uh, yeah, we're throwing at the wall, like, draw. I'll draw a bird. He can draw a fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get the sense that he's really good at pirate darts. Yeah? Because uh, he's the master gunner, so... <laughs> He's got a pretty decent deck. Nice. Um, yeah, so uh, you guys chat back and forth. Um, why don't you make an insight check? I don't like insight checks. Two. I don't <laughs> like you either. <laughs> I mean, he's difficult to read. He doesn't even speak the same language yeah. as you. So, yeah. Uh, what's Ren doing? Ren just is ready to get off this damn ship. <laughs> he's been on this ship with people. Do you want to swim in the... No. Ocean? No. I mean, you saw a dolphin. You can now turn into a dolphin. I don't have swim yet. He doesn't have swim. <laughs> you, can. you can be a dolphin with no swim. Oh, you don't have fun. He doesn't have fun. <laughs> exactly. You're not being funny. I wasn't trying. <laughs> You'd be a seagull. I'm going to stand just, um, right there. Yeah, just turn into a spider and go to the back of the ship and just hang on. <laughs> That's creepy. Yeah. I'm going to just mill about avoiding people. As okay. Much. That's fine. <clears throat> Um, think about a formula for So are long. you going to spend the most of the day in the crow's nest then? Yeah. Okay. So you and uh, Nevermore are up in the crow's nest, and Nevermore is uh, trying to communicate with you, and you're busy not communicating back. I go ahead, and I mean, if he's trying, if he makes an attempt, I'll be like, all right, and I'll go ahead and see if I can actually communicate with okay. him. I mean, um, it's the only the two of us up here, so. Just the two. Just the two of us. Why don't you make an insect check? He's got a cloaca. You're so dumb. It's nature's quarry. <laughs> you are so dumb. Uh, that's going to be a 17. So gross. Um, so you get the sense you that so uh, Nevermore has ambitions to have his own crew someday. Maybe he could be the captain. <laughs> he can help him. 
Uh, what's Sarcerel doing for the day? I was gonna help uh, Shipwreck, because uh, I don't think that he's got the best insights into like strategy. Shipwreck? Engineering? So I'm gonna what? help Shipwreck. Okay. Uh, to prevent any damage to the ship mm -hmm. from his ideas. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to make an intelligence check? That's, that's fair. fair. In, that's intelligence legit. or insight? Intelligence. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Maybe Eight. not. Okay, between Hold on. the two Hold of on. you, you Hold think on. you've got a great plan. Oh, you're gonna, you need to spend your inspiration on that, huh? Damn, that's a nine. Oh, oh well, yeah, between the cool. two of you, you got a great plan. Marginally better than that. <laughs> you, ask, better. you ask the cook, uh, you ask uh, <laughs> oh, the dang cook, it. Stockton. Hold on, before I make that check, a bunch of lard. I cast. Well, yeah, that's a good idea. And you grease up the Guidance. <laughs> you, guidance on you grease up one side of the Whoop. ship. Oh, boy. That's an 11. <laughs> oh. <yeah. laughs> And halfway through greasing up the rail of one side of the ship, you're like, wait a minute. This could cause more harm than good. This is so dumb. And so Xenos dumb. was really mad when he lost crew members. Here, crewman, hold this lard. <laughs> so, um, hey, Remington, can you hold this for me, please? Whoops. <laughs> the next day, um, you guys. I mean, if we can attack in that spot, we're Sailing good. along, and. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Poe, who's now up in the uh, uh, up in the crow's nest, calls out that he sees um, something odd, um, and basically you are sailing past a small um, outcropping of uh, rock that a tower is built on, um, and you would know that the the pirate captains um when things like this come along the pirate lords uh of the the brotherhood of the blood ring um have employed um basically uh light towers or uh, lighthouses to help avoid crashes um in the pirate islands um and this one uh, the light that is shining is uh, a light that is not, it's a, a sign of distress. It's oh. not a... Distress signals are always a trap, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Almost always, yeah. So we should probably avoid it. No, we should investigate. Oh my gosh. Because it's a trap. We should spring the trap. Land and it gets us off the ship? Yeah. Then go ahead, let's go. Are you, There's no you trees, it's the, just rocks. Uh, the crow's nest as well. Why don't you make a perception? <clears throat> uh, 19 plus 26. Oh, a 26. Okay. <laughs> so you see um, on the. Um, so it's a tower. Okay. Um, and there's uh, a enchanted. Um, spike on the tower that shines the light. Um, you see there are several um, winged humanoid creatures um, who are on the roof of the tower and they see your ship and... Um, nature check? You can roll nature, absolutely. Oh yeah. Natural 20? Yeah. Okay, so you know them as harpies. And what you know about harpies... They poop a lot. They like he was poop right. everywhere. He was right. Right if your adventuring parties come in contact with harpies, it's a random encounter <laughs> in the last 30 days. But your future adventuring parties <laughs> will. Seriously, harpies so, can be contagious. So what you know about harpies is if you get close enough to harpies, um, they <laughs> have... I'm start. Oh, God, I can't even stop. <laughs> I know this cleric named Valtrix. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Sabe, he's gonna explode. He can, he can help you with your random encounter with Harpies. Wait, how did you guys get Harpies? Can you just let me tell Frank what he knows about... About what? About what? What does he know about... The special abilities of the creature that you're about to come in contact with. The effects of Harpies? <laughs> Well then, Dude. I have a question. So if they get fire. attacked, if they get attacked by harpies, do I have to make some kind of special medicine check 
or is yeah. it just the regular medicine? No, it's Howard, like, this, is just a, this is just an outbreak of heart disease. <laughs> It'll go away. It's just the fact that it reoccurs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that it's that funny. It's just All right. Just tell you yeah. future it's adventure so artists that you've encountered. <laughs> so, <laughs> these winged humanoid creatures. Harpies help. Hold on. Huh? Don't, you, <laughs> don't you think we should give inspiration over there? Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's right. well deserved right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay, what do we know about women? So they, so they have a, a, a song, much like in the Iliad, where they can lure you close. If you get close enough. Don't scratch the edge. <laughs> Don't scratch the edge. Okay. So, so that's what you know. All right. So it's probably... Do any of the harpies... Spread their wings, or <laughs> no? I mean, they're trying to lure spread. you. That's what I was. So what do you do? I uh, yell down to um, whoever will listen. Uh, that <laughs> there are harpies. Corvin <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> and I just give you. That's so, fair. <laughs> um, at this point, uh, Cirque would be controlling the ship. Yep. Um, mm. And the captain is out. On, mm -hmm. on deck, yeah. and you hear a shout down of harpies. Okay. What do you do? Um, Man, you, you wrecked Frank. <laughs> <laughs> so what so is good. what is Zenos? Because um, Ren's not telling us much. What does Zenos know about harpies? Uh, well, you can make an intelligence check or a nature check. If you're trained in nature. That would well, that would just be a thirteen on intelligence. I got a sixteen. I noticed you're clear of harpies. <laughs> <laughs> um, are either one of you proficient in nature? No. No. Okay. Um, Survival. You know that they can fly, um, and they are... They're messy. They are hostile. Typically. Okay. So we've got flying hostile creatures over there in a tower mm -hmm. that looks... Interesting to check out, but it would be dangerous to the crew, and I don't want to lose crew members. So, mm -hmm. well, you can't be a coward <clears throat> and be a captain of a pirate ship. That's true. So let's go check it out. God. Okay. Good point. I go below ship, below deck. Okay. I, I tell the crew to, to prepare. <laughs> We're going to uh, investigate uh, the Harpy Island. I find and it. I find it. Any amazing. point is Ren explaining what. The full knowledge. He well, has. I'm standing. I mean, I'm up in the crow's nest. So how you am I going down. to shut it down? Well, you could <laughs> the come. Yo, down. they <laughs> sing. <laughs> I will come down. Okay. Don't get close. I mean, you. At this point, you spot this probably <clears throat> like 500 feet. Away. Okay. All right. Okay. Once I spot them, I recognize what they are. I come down. Uh, I assemble the leadership. Okay. Uh huh. And I tell them Mr. we got Hamilton harpies. Comes up. What's up? We got harpies in the. Harpies have taken over the pirate tower. Oh, yeah, uh, harpies in the crow's nest? And they are, um, they're going to try and lure us if we get too close. So uh, we can either go in and take out the harpy infestation <laughs> and search for treasure. Yeah. Or, or we around. can sail around and be cowardly. Yeah. Uh, I honestly don't care. Okay. You're you want to Mr. Remington says, um, Captain, if you want to keep the crew safe, I would recommend steering clear of the Yes, but captain. fortune favors the bold, and if we we clear out these harpies, then we, we might discover treasure, we might discover... Oh, sure thing. I need to get some wax and see what my ears. Can I make an insight check? You can make an insight check. And then I just go murder. Don't try to talk to me. I'm just going to murder. Sure. I got a... 22 on my insight. Okay, you believe that um, a crew of 20 people plus the six, I believe mm -hmm. the six command crew plus you guys um, could easily take harpies, but um, there is a, a wisdom saving throw that must be made to not be charmed by them. Okay. So um, I am. Um, I come over yeah. to you. Let me see if I've got it. I say, um, we should keep going. 
Unless we get a, something from one of the pirate lords that suggests we take the tower. I see if we get going. Get the hell off this ship as fast as humanly possible. I don't think there's any value in Can I find purpose. a pulse? I think we mark yeah. I think we mark on the map where this is. What if I Definitely. cast blindness deafness on the crew? And <laughs> So I, then you're fine. I, I'm I mean, fine to play. Blind, we've got, I assume we've got robots. Can we yeah. shoot things flying at the ship with the ballista? Yeah, Corvin, I can totally do that. No, those don't aim that high. Um, he, uh, he, he goes for option three, and he says, is <clears throat> basically he communicates to you that it is very difficult to shoot humanoid shapes with a ballista uh, because they are small, and is flying it? creatures would move quickly. You're a half elf. Uh, I look like I'm human, but I'm half elf. <clears throat> All right. Um, do we have crossbows? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so How far we are should the crossbows probably shoot. Crossbows we have a distance. They go uh, 400 foot long distance. Yeah, so you're disadvantaged when you're firing. Long but 100 distance. feet for minimum. I can shoot firebolts 120, and the sorcerer um, can do something. Do you have? Similar, I do we have a crew like a a, a group line? of the crew that are proficient with crossbows like the men. crewman's proficient with maybe everybody should grab crossbows if we're going to sure, deal with yeah. these harpies sure and we should have them all loaded and wait for them to come and mm -hmm. within firing distance mm -hmm. yeah, i think we could prepare the ship to as, as long for boarding. Um, <clears throat> the um mr remington says i think as long as we stay out of range of them they're not going to be and then i turn to xenos so i'm like are we staying out of range I'm tempted to go investigate, see what the harpies might have on that island. Whatever you decide, if we go close to this island, I think every crew member should have a loaded crossbow. And I agree just... with that. The question is, is it is it worth the risk? And then I, I go like this, and a solid black crossbow. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, the question really is, what, what are those har if the harpies are luring in other ships, mm -hmm. which I assume that they are, mm -hmm. then what, what have they amassed in their tower? So sure. silence is a ritual that I could use to create a 20-foot radius sphere centered on me. Okay. And keep it up for 10 minutes, which would prevent the song from having an impact on, on anybody, anybody inside radius, that radius. Yeah. So you could protect us from the harpies. And I have advantage, and you have advantage on saving throws against charm effects anyways. But you, but you could protect the crew. I go yeah. to find Potential. Um, Nevermore. Well, well, then. Candles? Do we have candles? So, I mean, a 20 foot radius is going to be okay. enough for eight crew members <clears throat> to be protected. <laughs> 20 foot radius? Okay. <laughs> right? I mean, we're talking about. Gonna, I'm just looking at the. That'd be four ship. squares. Drip wax, make no, earplugs. I don't know. Maybe 10. I think you should have the wick stick it out. Light it. I wouldn't be able to get 20. Let's see. No, but if we had if we had the 10 crewmen around you and everyone else below deck. Yeah, let's see. There yeah, we that's go. What I'm thinking. How are they yeah. going to sail this ship with them just being around him? Well, where well, are you going to place it? It would just, we, it would just be a matter to, of placement. I'm assuming you're going to place it where the <clears throat> wheel of the ship is, right? Because yeah, don't, yeah, you don't want to have the, the, the person wheel. that's sailing the ship. I go back. Yeah. Christmas. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he doesn't need it. Um, how, is it concentration? Concentration up to 10 minutes. And what's the area of effect? 20-foot 20. 20 radius that's oh, a, sphere. That's the whole deck. That's the deck. Yeah. That's the whole deck. Well, it's not the length is the issue. So <coughs> but, it's just making sure that we've got enough But if we see them space. coming, yeah. then we could send a ring a bell or something, and everyone, when they hear the, the, met, the signal, rushes to so, where they need to be on so the So we're going to sail by it and keep on moving, or do you want to land? No, you are land. the captain. I want to make the call. We land. Okay. There it is. All right. It's so much fun. So much fun. Um, okay. You're the captain. So, so I'm just 500 feet away, brass ones clank away, you begin casting your ritual. Yep. And your ritual takes how long to cast? I need to double check the, the time on it. And you're going to put 10 crewmen down below deck. Mm -hmm. okay. And we all have... Oh, everyone's going to... It's, everyone a single, it's a single action. Everyone has crossbows. Okay. So it's a minute. Uh, anybody inside cannot use spells with verbal components. I just hope you know that. Cool. So Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Wax the crewmen's ears. So you begin, a, you begin your approach. 
and when you're within about half the distance, so um, you go? 250 feet away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the harpies start to uh, they start to flare up a little bit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he had oh no! Did we agitate the harpies? We agitated <laughs> the harpies. Do you want to go ahead and set that up, <laughs> and then um, we'll do four of them. Are they going to be here or up? Uh, they're going to be, yeah, out in the water is fine. Okay. Um, Dude, that was even got some fire. Yeah. So two there, and then why don't you go ahead and put the other stand on the rock so that they're above the deck, and um, we can put two there. Right here? Yeah. So, Howard, you're going to get attacked. Why am I getting attacked? Because they saw you. Feet away? <coughs> 250 feet away. Well, they fly out on their actions. Okay. They well, fly. How close do they get? Yeah. They fly forty. Okay. So, so they're now two hundred and ten feet. Because yeah. we're at two fifty. Yeah. Can we so make an attack rolls against make. Howard? What are they using? Uh, crossbows. So, so they're they're in range for us to attack. So if we saw them coming yeah. and we were ready for their attack, well, yeah. we would have told the crew to wait till they're closer, uh, okay. or if we give the command. Okay. Yeah. I just want to go ahead and move all of the crew members that we have. Sure. Yeah, the once they area. started flying, that would have been the signal to gather with uh, the 20. Howard, you get hit once. Okay. And you need to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. To maintain your concentration. Okay. And the DC is 10. Okay. But you do take four damage. Okay. Huh, I do not make it. Okay. So silence ends. That sounds begun. Yeah, he had cast it while you guys were sailing close. Takes one. Time. So that they didn't lure and you guys. The oh. harpies from four hundred feet away knew that the cleric was casting silence. Well, they were watching you, and they, he was casting a ritual, and they targeted the guy that had the act of spell going on. So the other three. Can you put these guys up? Uh, up near the light there. The light? So uh, does that end immediately or at it the ends beginning your spell. of my next turn? It ends your spell if you fail your concentration check. Okay. So the other three are going to, um, well, one of them's going to sing. And then <coughs> What's the range on their song? 300 feet. So everybody. Well, if they, they all shoot Howard. Uh-huh. They Can we to... give the signal for everybody to fire back? Yeah, absolutely. Then so we let's do that. have everybody fire back. Okay, at this point, why don't we make an initiative uh, we'll check good. to see who goes first. I don't know why somebody didn't shoot at them when they were in range to shoot. Well, they were shooting at you with disadvantage, and I oh, thought... Oh, from a range. They shot, yeah, yeah, they shot further away. Okay. Um, they were willing to take to the chance that they might hit you. Uh, so does anybody beat a 14? Yep. Yeah. Who? 17. 20. Okay. Does anybody beat a 20? Mm -mm. Ren, you're up. Okay. So I guess we are shooting at... Well, yeah. we all piece. have... So you would not have... Um, you would not have been affected by the silence. So you see what's going on the whole time. You hear a quiet song, but you're not... By the time it's your initiative, you're not... Um, compelled by it. Compelled by it yet. Okay. All right. So... Um, they're within. They're within 290 feet. Did you say or no? No, 210. 210. Hmm. The closest. Ones. Guess I'll just fire a regular crossbow. <clears throat> and so, is that disadvantage because they're that far away? I don't remember. Yeah, what yeah. yeah it is disadvantage. Ha. <laughs> That one's going to cancel out that 17, so I don't hit anything. All right. Um, Xenos? Okay, so... I guess I can shoot at somebody with a crossbow. Yep, you could. So, on disadvantage. Out. Yeah. And I'll try shooting at one of them. So, so how many total harpies do we 17 have? 17 or Seven. a 10. So that would be a total of 13 to hit a harpy. Uh, that hits. Okay, so what do I roll for damage on a crossbow? Uh, D8. D8? Okay. So that's oh, eight damage. Eight. Nice. All right. Shit, that'd be a 15 to hit. Huh? That'd be a 15 to hit. 
Dex plus your proficiency. I'm not proficient. He's not. Close. Oh. He's got simple weapons. That's right. You're a wizard. All right. That uh, harpy takes damage. Slings. Oh, I do have a proficiency with a light crossbow. Oh. Well, then you'd hit it even better. Okay. All right. So harpy. Captain's leading the way. That's right. Sings. So Wait, everybody on. Did I get skipped? No, you. Ren won the initiative. Oh. Um, so Harpy sings. Um, everybody needs to make a uh, wisdom saving throw. That, that is my effect. greatest save. And I'm going to make one my, for the yeah. crew. And how well they do, it will. Uh, it's pretty low, isn't it? The DC. We'll see. Okay. Uh, Mike, what'd you get? 15. 15. Uh, what did uh, Zeno get? Seven. Hmm. Alright. I don't think it's 21. That 11. Is that 15. Okay. I, I put a um, The crew, <laughs> uh, I would say probably eight out of the ten crewmen that are on board um, also make the save. No, oh, good. Um, and uh, Doug, you are charmed. Okay. Uh, so. Um, okay. So. You're no longer, you no longer want to attack the harpies um, because you think they're friendly. Um, in fact, you would like to do anything that you can to get close, closer to the, okay. the shore. Now, you're okay. not going to be suicidal okay. about it. Right. Uh, but that's, that's what, what Move the ship there. closer to the harpies. Um, <laughs> the harpies that swimming. are flying are going to move... They're um, 40 feet closer, and then they're going to reload their crossbows. So now they're 170 feet away. Right. So which and, is still a disadvantage. But. And how often do I get to make the save uh, against the charm? Uh, it would be as the charm spell, so I think they have to do something negative to impact that. But Mike is looking it up. Well, okay. Charm and Sarsarilla, it is your turn. Oh, I am? Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought you were looking at a book. I'm, I'm, I'm reading I'm holding charm it. person right here. If it's the same thing as the spell, then oh, it I is. can read it. He has it is. You attempt to charm a human Sorry. Uh, well, they're not in range of me for me to be able to do anything useful, really. Uh, I'm just looking oh. at maybe doing a bless. Is it the same as the spell? Mm -hmm. So you have advantage if you and your companions are fighting it. Okay. So that would be 12. <laughs> I'm gonna blast. So I'm gonna get, blast. Get your uh, on. Cirque and the druid. Mm -hmm. And oh. no, it's natural attacks. Oh, or not natural. No, it's, it's just melee, it's, right? No, it's any attacks. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to decide if I want it to be me or if I should be. Do you want Poe uh, to? Yeah, use, I'll, I'll have use the Poe guns. Use it because that's that it. before. Yeah, it's a disadvantage. Attack Why not? Oh. But he can take the extra D4 to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. He'll do that. Do that. Um, they were right there. So. Um, okay. So that was Sarsarel. Um, why don't we? Why don't we roll a a Poe? Um. No, he doesn't. Hit. Even with the D4, he wouldn't have been able to hit. Oh well. Fine. Well, no, that was before he did the D4. He acted before. Yeah. So oh, he acted before he I shot. Yeah. Um, and okay. then several crew members start beginning to reload the ballista. Uh, shipwreck. All right, well, they're now within range, right? Do you have a ballista mini? Or can I, should I bring mine? I have one. Okay. I just didn't bring it out. Actually, I have a couple. Okay. Because yeah, I'm just looking at range again on the crossbows. They're within 200 feet. It's 100 for a short, 400 for long. I have it on my sheet. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so you're still, still, a, still a disadvantage, yeah. All right, well, I guess I'll shoot one of the closest ones. Okay. You get a d4. 14 or uh, four. Oh, well, that's probably Let's not see. Four, huh. eight, 12. You hit? Oh. <laughs> Seven. All right, is that the same one that has been hit before? I just went with the closest one, so. Well, whatever. there's one that's singing. Oh, it's this, and well, those are. It doesn't matter. Oh, They're yeah, true. 400. Yeah. So wait, if the, the one that's singing is that going to be continuous every round? Or? She has to spend a bonus action to continue to sing. 
Okay, so now she has to make a uh, concentration check, right? It's no, it's ability. just you know. No, it's, it's not, not a, spell. a spell. No, it's, it's a spell just like her talking. Yeah. yeah, it's just an action. So she, okay. if you disrupt it, she could do it again. Mm. Uh, Whereas I can't <clears throat> cast the spell again because uh, I have all right. to prepare it. Um, Corbin. Uh, so a 13 will hit, so she can take another 10. Okay. Ooh. And then I'll tell everyone, fire, pick a harpy, and shoot. Do you want to have them pick, pick the same harpy? The same harpy and start. I think that's Whaling the best choice. That's that doesn't matter. All right, focus pick. fire. Ren, what do you do? Fire power in that uh, I will shoot. The one that has been hit like three times is still up. It's been oh, there's been twice. two that have been hit. Wow. Once each. Well, no, one's been hit twice, the one that was singing, and then the other one has been hit once. All right, I'm going to shoot at the one that's been singing. Okay. Uh, eight plus dex bonus? Yep. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Are you proficient, are you proficient with, crossbows? with crossbows? Eleven to hit. Everybody should be proficient with crossbows, right? They're a simple weapon? Mm, yeah, well, the light no. crossbows are. Which, that's their D8. Yeah. yeah. So, I add your 11 plus hits plus if you hit with huh? an 11. But okay. he's, yeah, but I hit with an 11. A druid, so he may yeah. not be proficient. Clubs, with. daggers, darts, javelins, maces, quarterstaffs, scimitars, sickles, slings, spears. Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, no. So, no. so, I just hit with the basic 11 then. All right. And. <clears throat> Does an 11 hit? Yeah. Cool. So, right. six. Six? All right. That single one's just ding, ding, ding. Uh, yeah, it's, it's taking some damage. Uh, Xenos? All right. Um, well, I'm gonna go shoot at the one that's the most injured. Okay. So that's a nine or a tw natural twenty. So disadvantage, right? You uh, yeah. You're still at. Yeah. Well, 170 feet was I had written down. He yeah. should really. He should really take advantage. Do you have a good charisma, or not? My charisma? I've got a 14. How close okay. is the ship? What's your tax? My deck's is 17. Um, okay. So you hit. The ship's yeah. speed is written on the... Same, so it's the fine. Doug okay. has the rules for sailing. Five damage. Has can, you, can you see me? No worries. And I direct the ship to move closer to him so that we they get within 30, range. 30, I think. 30 per round? 30 feet around. Yeah. So, so we move closer 30. Oh, so we're with yeah. 140 now? Yep. yep. So if they fly, the ones that are flying towards us... <laughs> They'll continue to fly closer. Then they're, then they're now 100 feet away. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's their turn. The ones that Stop, are um, 100 feet away have reloaded their crossbows, so they'll go ahead and attack. Um, so. Perfect, man. Dealing with, that, oh, dealing with her because that protection is dangerous. It is. All right, All right. so Doug, you're going to get attacked. <laughs> okay. That's that is protection. a 17. But no, that'll hit me. My it's going to hit you, though. yeah. It's actually a 20 because it. Roll, roll a 17. Corbin, you're going to get attacked. That is a 9. It's mm -hmm. not going to hit you. Um, Mike, uh, Circus getting attacked. That is a 19. Yeah. And Do they have random disadvantage? crewmen. No, these are the ones that have. Yeah, they, they just flew within 100 feet. So, so um, <laughs> random crewman is also going to get attacked. Um, oh, no. So. Sometimes that happens when you're the random crewman. Yeah. Doug, yeah. you take. Um, to three. Cirque okay. takes six. Um, Ouch. Corbin doesn't get hit because he, he got missed. Um, and random crew member takes that damage, which is seven. So Whew. he's grievously injured. Ow. So, Shad, yeah. when that arrow uh, would hit me, uh -huh. a magical ward appears and disintegrates the arrow. Nice. Sweet. Fancy. Yeah. All right. Um... One of the other harpies that is not super damaged, um, well, the one that is super damaged is going to go ahead and fly back onto the tower. Oh, okay. Behind, underneath the parapets. Um, the, they have a parapets? Yeah. What are they? Um, like a dolphin <laughs> and uh, eagle. Cool. Um, it's an odd pair. So <clears throat> the, one of the ones that's at full hit points is going to go ahead and sing. Yay. Um, so everybody needs to make a uh, wisdom saving throw, and as Doug pointed out, you get advantage because you're in a fight. So that's I'm 14. Good. Do I get like a triple advantage? No. <laughs> I'm good. <clears throat> Mike. Good. Uh, lowest I got was a 17. Okay. Um, at this point, um, 
So there was two that were already charmed, and they're just kind of staring off into space. Um, there is another two that they've charmed as well. Okay. Um, so How close are they now? How can we break charm? Break, let's see here, charm so person. The ones that are flying are 100 feet away, which okay. is in range of regular attacks. Oh, we no longer have uh, The ship moves. Who's driving the ship? Are we? Do we say who's round it is? It looks like Bernadette say, is driving a ship. Let's say on Xenos' turn, the ship moves 30 that's yeah, forward. Okay. So, that's, that's what I went off about. Yeah, so now they're within 70. Um, and now it's our Charles' turn. It, I'm going to go ahead. To answer your question, the spell ends when you or your companions do anything harmful to it. So, so when whenever ev- one of them attacks. shoots at us. Shoots at, it well, shoot! No, 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 no. No, shoots at the charmed individual. Yes. Do so, they know which ones are charmed? The ones that are staring they can off probably into space. Tell, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, if we the first going... round, we would have been all in a big group. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. I am going to um, use my turn to try to rally the crew. Okay. I'll let them know that the blessing of Umberly is upon us, that we are on a holy mission, and that this plague of harpies is. Not gonna stand in our way. Okay. And that is an eleven, so I needed a ten to do it. Okay. So for one round, so the they advantages on all rolls. They fire, um, and they got a natural <coughs> twenty oh, on sure. their advantage. Right. So take one of those harpies off, as they just pepper it with arrows. <laughs> <laughs> um, I forgot to do Poe, uh, so they reloaded, and he fires. He's got disadvantage. But he still hits. He also has advantage, so that cancels oh, out the disadvantage. True. And well, he, he still, still gets hits. a plus four. He hit, anyway. Okay. Um, that's another harpy gun. Nice. Because it's hit with a ballista. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is it gone, the feathers. but it's possibly pinned to something. <laughs> yes. On the side of the arrow. Um, okay. <laughs> so, shipwreck. Oh, my turn. All right, so I'm going to go for the closest one. Yeah, okay. Advantage. I have advantage. And a plus four. Or a d4. Oh, hey, look nice. at that. Uh, 217s. Oh, nice. the D4. Dang. That's, that's going to hit. That's going to hit. Uh, I wish I could have added to your damage. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Oh, you had dex to damage, right? You do add yeah. dex so to damage. Three? Oh. Nice. You're going to get that one eventually. <laughs> you will. I, I believe in you. Um, Corbin. I, somebody does. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to Eldritch Blast the one he just shot. Okay. And I got a 17. A 17 is going to hit. And 10 points of damage. Uh, you've done significantly more damage than Mike has. It's true. <laughs> uh, Frank. I'm going to go Frank ahead does? and shoot at the one that has been shot and Eldritch Blasted. Wow, that's pretty crappy. Ooh. You're not at disadvantage. Mm. Yeah, that was my advantage roll. Oh, that was your advantage? Yeah. That's... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm uh, going to hit. Seriously, hmm? a two no. and a three. It's 11. You have to hit 11. Mm, no. Three plus that's seven, seven, nine, yeah. seven plus nine. What did you, what did you shoot? <clears throat> I shot one of the harpies. With the crossbow? Yeah. Oh, you're not professional. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's plus three. Mm-hmm. You missed by one. Yeah. Yeah. See us? All right. Um... You can use a firebolt on the uh, harpy that's been hit a couple times now. Okay. Is that and an attack? Do I get you have an advantage? All right. So that would be twenty. Okay. That's I'll go with hit. the twenty. All right. That's gonna um, hit. Seems legit. Ah, seven fire damage. It's very injured. Wings on fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. The harpy's having a so, so how many? We still have two that are flying towards us, and yeah, those are uh, on. They stopped flying towards <laughs> us. <laughs> we're within because, 70 feet of them, though. Yeah, you move another 30, yeah, that closer, was so 30 feet. So now, we're, now we're 30 feet. Or no, 40 we're 70. 70. We were to, at the beginning we of my turn, we got to 70 feet. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so, yeah, they don't need to get any closer because they're. Um, so they, they actually fly away? Because they need to reload their crossbows. So how so far? They're, so they're at 110 now. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> they keep flying out of space. Um, and, and the one. Hit somebody. <laughs> 110 feet. 110 feet. <laughs> What's the range on your? Uh, 120. Yes, so it's mine. Range oh, wait. Your spells. But then we move closer, 30 feet. 
So the one that yeah. is I'll that was it. singing, it's gonna fly out next to the other one. And oh, oh, guiding bolts. Over this one is flying out to this one. No, no it's flying to the back with oh. the other one. Going, this was mistakes were made. And then the <laughs> other one is going to sing. The last, the last uninjured one is going to sing. Well, not last. How far one. away is that one? Well, like, she is within a hundred. Within hundred and twenty feet. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So I am good on the resist to the singing. Make your checks. Make your oh, checks. Make yeah. your checks. All right. What am I doing? Saving. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Two or I I save fourteen. That. I say. Okay. Yeah. Anybody get a blow eleven? No. no. All right. No. <laughs> Let me roll. You could have saved sh- that juju for ship? something else. You know that. But. Oh yeah. yeah. Um. So like, how many are we left? So we've got four. So um, three more of the crew are. At this really point, fun. they start lowering a rowboat. <laughs> Belay that. Belay Stop. That. Yeah. Stop. No robots. They say something about go go screw yourself, Xenos. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that one wasn't chimed. <laughs> <laughs> Remington, no one asked you. Uh, Remington is actively trying to stop them. Oh, good. Lowering the, oh, good. Uh, good for him. See, he's doing the right yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, okay, so that was them. Sarsarell, it's your turn. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... Cast a guiding bolt on that one over there. Oh, you get an advantage on the next attack roll against that if you hit. If I hit. If you hit. You gotta hit an 11. I know. Yeah. Ah, son of a biscuit. Yeah, I'm guessing that's not. No. You don't get I got plus a 10. 7 to your roll? Right. No. That's Chip weird. weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna shoot that one that's that we've been peppering. <laughs> okay. Shoot. That's a seven plus eight, nine. Oh, that's still gonna hit. Okay. So five damage. I just want to make sure that my my spell attack is the same. It's just my proficiency bonus plus my wisdom bonus. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. Ren. Oh wait. No, Corbin. Uh, the one we've been shooting takes another six. Okay. We're still getting a bandage from you, no. right? That was, no, only that was only a single round. Oh, okay. Okay. And the other thing that you gave you us. You still get a D4. Four. All right. So we've hit that thing like five times, right? I have yeah. a little. Uh, uh, well, a lot so of the two that have been grievously injured have moved away. Those no, are those two. But this it, was uh, the one that we were all targeting from the ship. I think that the one that you... We didn't shoot at the one that was singing the well, second time. Yeah, no, she flew... Already. This one flew away after not getting hit at all. I think... So you've killed two. And mm-hmm. two have been grievously wounded. And two have been grievously wounded and moved away. That's... They're moving away. That's that's what they're doing. Right, but well, she's still within our... This is... Everything. She's on the other side of the tower. But everything Because you've hit this one twice. Everything's still within a range. Cause we're I, I think, so I think this point. one and this one have gotten confused. The second Probably. singer was never attacked. But she fl- flew behind the tower. Oh. This one was grievously injured and is still sitting there. Okay. Well, no. Th- no, they're flying away. They're just... Yeah. They were reloading. Yeah. Oh, they're but flying that's the one back. we're all targeting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, they tried to run away, but they're still getting right. shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that'll hit. Yeah. Okay. And nice. eight plus dexterity bonus of three, so 11. All right. That one is messed up. All right. Um, okay, Xenos. I'm gonna go for the one that's singing, I think. Okay. And direct some of the crew to shoot at the one that's singing and direct the crew that's lowering the robot to stop! <laughs> so you've got, at this point, you've got. So it's three? <laughs> yeah. That are oh. under your control? Three's better okay. than none. So uh, I got a 13 to hit the one that's singing. You hit? So. Alright. So that's two fire damage. Oh, it takes the two fire damage. Whoa. Yep. There's more where that came from. All right. Everybody make a saving throw. Let me know when we're in within six. Um, within we six should feet. also, we're within 80 feet now. I make it. We don't have advantage of this, right? We they're do have attacking. advantage because we're, we're still yeah, we're fighting still them. Combat. Oh, so on this so, one we do. Yeah, 17. Plus it's only a Plus. DC 11. Did you make What'd it? What'd you get, Mike? I got, let's oh, see, that's no. um, a five. Okay, you are charmed. With advantage? I yeah, got a two and a three. Yeah, <laughs> it totally did. Wow. <laughs> Wait, no, yeah. Oh, what are you going to do? Jump in the four. robot? That's not going to save. Even so a four, four will be nine. Four. Eight. Okay. So, um. Yeah, you're jumping the robot, aren't you? May, may or may not happen on my turn. So you see the two that are, were reloading and getting peppered um, with 
arrows, they begin to move towards the tower. Like they're basically holding up. Um, Poe hits one um, with a ballista, and that one dies. Um, what about the other three that were? Oh. They're gonna they're gonna fly into the tower. Man, that harpies is all over. I mean harpies. Um, they're gonna fly into the tower, and at this point, um, I was asking the other three crewmen. Did they manage to do any damage to the other harpy? Uh, their singing is done, right? Did their yeah. bolts penetrate oh. the harpies? Um, yeah, they'll do a little bit of damage to that last one. Some serious damage to our ship on the Actually, quite a bit of damage to that last one. Oh, good. Um, so that is... Okay. So, at this point, we Are should done? break for the night. Oh, okay. okay. And we'll go ashore um, next on next the next week. session. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Excellent. See ya. Um, remember to... Always wash. Always use protection when fighting. Remember to... Uh, Check out our giveaway. Um, important note, um, Twitch subscribers uh, are worth five entries. Uh, and the reason that that is is because that gives us money. And um, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe to our Twitch channel for free. So that's a free five entries. <laughs> Otherwise, it's five bucks, which is still cheaper than buying the, uh, the giveaway that we're giving away. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks. Toodles.